hey guys today i'm going to show you how to create a local host on your normal computer system so basically one uh, server is required for making your computer system into a local host and as well as one client so when both client and server are available on the same machine then we refer that machine as a local host so we can do it with two ways uh, manually and automatic way so in manually we have to manually change the configurations of the apache server and the whatever server we are going to use and to manipulate the files for their working okay and in automatic way there are lots of softwares available such as easy php vamp zam etc we just simply provide an set of file which will directly install the required files and configure them to execution okay so i'm going to show you the automatic way of creating the localhost so we are going to use easy php okay you can download easy php from its official website it is completely free look this link you can go and this is the latest version 14.1 you can just download it and it is an exe file that is the setup file okay so i'm going to show you how to install and test one file so basically we're taking in mind that we want to execute the php file so easy php is specially designed for the php support it also provides mysql as a backend database okay so let's get installed this easy php just simply double click and follow the wizard okay next accept the agreement next this is the default path you don't have to change it just click next just say yes next and install it okay now easy php is being installed so during this is installing we are going to create one simple php page using notepad okay so open notepad we are going to do hello world okay so basic php block this is the basic php block which you must be knowing okay so echo which is used for printing on your web page hello world which is here okay it is almost completed then the semicolon for terminating the statement okay now save this file on your desktop index whatever name you want to give i'm gonna give index.php and select all files okay save it we'll deal with it after a minute okay now look it is completed just take this launch easy php and click on finish so easy php is now running you can see over in this tray okay just right click it this is nothing but so several options are available you can see administration local web local web means the local host address you going to use over your browser okay then explore means the root it will open up the root directory for your documents and configurations for each application such as apache server then php mysql php madden okay click on explore so this is basically the root directory of your 
localhost okay you can see the path or a c program files easy php then slash www okay just simply paste your file here we have created the php simple php script copy and paste over here okay now if you want to access your web now how will access HT no I'm not in this browser so you can use one two seven dot zero dot zero dot one colon and eight zero eight zero which is the port number that easy PHP uses okay so HTTP okay HTTP one two seven point zero point zero the one column eighty eighty okay oops let's go from here you can go let's go from this tray icon local web am I the garden so easy php selects the port number automatically if i am running multiple web servers and that server is also having 8080 as a port number then it will not take 8080 it will randomly take another port number so it have taken 8887 okay look you can see here hello world php this is the index page now this is the address of your localhost so if you want to access any file which is stored in the root directory we just have seen so you can just simply put slash your file name your file dot php or any dot sorry html pages etc so in this way you can simply access your localhost okay thank you for watching like on facebook